this is going to be the fastest and most helpful deep seek video that you guys have probably ever seen. And the reason why is we're going to be addressing the infamous problem known as the deep seek server is busy problem. And we're going to be going over kind of six different fixes that we can use for this exact problem. Now, if you've been using deep seek for a while, then you've probably become a veteran when it comes to seeing this damn message on your screen. But what you might not have realized is that there's quite a few different ways that you can go about fixing it. I recently actually just posted a YouTube short about just one of these answers or one of these fixes when it comes to this problem. And it seemed like there were plenty of people who are hungry to know different kinds of solutions. So I looked across YouTube and I couldn't really find a video that had all of these answers listed out. So I was like, you know, why not create one myself? Now look, first thing is first, and this is kind of why I said that it's kind of six solutions, not really not really six, but kind of. Um, the first solution is actually downloading and installing and running DeepSeek on your local machine. And the reason why this is the ultimate fix, the first fix, the most important fix, is because if you're willing to go through the effort to download and install it and run it on your machine, then what actually ends up happening is that your PC kind of acts as the server, right? So how can a server be busy when you're the only person who's on the server, right? unless you're such a fatty that you take up the entire server, which obviously isn't going to be the case. So if you're willing to go through the effort, then the ultimate fix is to download and install it and run it locally on your machine. But obviously for the sake of simplicity, this video I'm going to be assuming that you guys don't want to run it locally. And so we're going to continue with the five other solutions. All right, so we made it into our good old DeepSeek interface here. And the first thing we're going to be doing is checking the server status. So if you head on over to the bottom left corner here, you click on your icon and you click on contact us. It's going to bring up this pop-up box and you can actually check the DeepSeek server status. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see the API service and the web chat service. And this kind of isn't necessarily a fix, but it's a kind of a preventative measure that you can use if you're wondering, oh, why is it not working? I've tried all the other fixes. Sometimes guys, the server is just down. There's nothing you can do about that. And you literally just have to wait until you see these good old green bars popping up and then you know you're good to go. So checking the server status is number one. Now the second solution, and obviously the absolute most common solution that everybody knows is to simply just click this regenerate sign right here. Now, sometimes it literally is as simple as clicking regenerate. So you don't want to have to go through all of the hoops and hurdles in order to do all this extra troubleshooting bullshit. You can literally just click regenerate. And sometimes it's as simple as that. So that's number two. All right, so now we move on to the third fix, which is by far and away being the most effective tip for me to use. Now, obviously we know that the most amount of users on DeepSeek is Chinese users. The reason for that obviously is because China is who made DeepSeek. Now, if we want to use the server at the time and there's the least amount of users on, then it makes sense for us to use it at a time when the most amount of Chinese people will be sleeping, right? So what we want to do is we want to aim to get our DeepSeek work session out when all of the Chinese people are sleeping, right? So it's literally as simple as just searching up what time it is in China, you want to make sure that it's around like midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And I guarantee you, you're going to have the most amount of successful messages with DeepSeek. And I actually did go through and watch a couple of YouTube videos and they're suggesting to go through and actually do what I just suggested, but to do it with your local time zone. And the reason why this is bull I'll just, I'll show you guys right here firsthand. So I've got this prompt here and it says, when you say the server is busy, are you referring to local servers? And if so, is this country slash city specific or is it worldwide servers? And all this does is that it basically is asking DeepSeek, is it is the servers local to my specific time zone or is it like a worldwide thing that's affected by everybody in the entire world? So let's go ahead and let's go through with this. Hopefully we don't get the server is busy. And what you're going to see is that it's going to tell you if it finishes up here, is that it's global servers, right? And what this means is that it, it takes into account everybody in the entire world. So obviously the number one factor country that we have to take into account is China. And as you guys can see here, like I said, it says they are not local servers tied to a specific city or country, but uh, global infrastructure designed to handle requests from users worldwide. If the servers are busy, busy, it could be due to high traffic maintenance affecting. Cool. So long story short, it's exactly supporting what I said. So if you're always getting the server is busy error message, then just make sure to be using it at a time when there's the least amount of Chinese users on. The fourth fix that I've got here, even though there isn't technically any evidence or proof to back this up, is to disable this button over here that says deep think R1. If you don't know what this does, it kind of says it right here. This is for if you want DeepSeek to kind of explain its rationale behind giving you certain answers. So if it's not that important to you, then you really don't need to have it enabled anyway. But if you have it enabled and you're getting the error message the server is busy, then just try disabling this and chances are it might work for you. I've had plenty of experiences where it's showing that the server is busy, I disable that and then it starts working. So try yourself, see if it works. And just to follow on with that, I've tried the same thing with the search function here. I really haven't noticed too much of a difference. So I don't think that really makes any difference. Now, really quick guys, before I get into the fifth and final fix that we have. I wanted to head on over to my free community to let you guys know if you do have any questions or you have any issues or you just want to talk to me in general or anybody else in the community, you can join the free community. I'll have it linked in the description. You get access to plenty of different stuff as you can see right here. We've got top AI websites you can use and music cheat sheets, just a bunch of different stuff. So if you want to join, join. Cool. Let's head on with the video. 
So the fifth and final fix for the DeepSeek server is busy problem is going to be simply switching accounts. Now, if you guys watch my full DeepSeek tutorial that I uploaded uh, a week or so ago, I literally got the server is busy problem while I was recording the video and I showed live on the video exactly how I literally just switched accounts and then it started working. So there's really no better proof to show that sometimes switching accounts can literally just make it start working for whatever reason. So here is the rapid fire recap of all of the different fixes that we've been through. Number one, the ultimate one is to download, install and run DeepSeek locally. That, if you do that, you don't need to do anything else on this list that I mentioned. Number two is obviously going to be to check the server status to make sure that the server isn't just down and you're just butting your head against the wall for no reason. Uh, number three is going to be to literally just click the regenerate button, see if it works. Number four is going to be to try at a time without congestion. Remember, we were talking about China and the most amount of users that are on the platform. Number five is going to be to disable DeepThink R1. Remember Remember the button down here and then the sixth and final one is going to be to switch accounts that's going to be the very last thing that you can do every other thing that you guys are seeing on these videos people talking about clearing cache days and reinstalling the app and you know doing a backflip on your chair and jumping out the window above it's all bullshit. okay the, i don't know what they're trying to sell unicorn dust to you or something just listen to the things in this video you should be fine one of them will end up working and that's pretty much it uh thanks for watching cool bye